Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number one, that is characteristics and life processes of organisms. And today I will deliver its second lecture. And in this lecture, you will be able to study about the characteristics of plants and animals, specifically movement and growth. So my dear students, as you know that we are plants and animals ke different characteristics of plants and animals, so today we will discuss the growth of movement and growth. So my dear students, let's quickly move forward towards the recap. So quickly listen to the question and then answer them. What are different characteristics of life in animals and plants? Movement, growth, reproduction, respiration, excretion, sense and growth, feeding, these all are different characteristics of both plants and animals. So my dear students, uh, let's quickly move forward towards today's activity. So quickly look at the plant and animal and now tell me, do plants move like animals? No, they do not run, jump or walk like animals, but plants do move. Okay. So my dear students, in today's lecture, the students will be able to compare and contrast characteristics that distinguish major groups of living things, plants and animals. And you know that today we will discuss about movement and growth. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. So Allah says in Quran that it is Allah who created you in a state of weakness, then developed your weakness into strength, then developed your strength into weakness and old age. So my dear students, see how much clear they are telling you here. Allah Ta'ala that the human, that the human being, that the living thing is weak when it is born and then it starts growing. And as it grows, every living thing it becomes strong. And again, it becomes fall. When it becomes age, it becomes so much more that they move towards the old age. And again, in old age, they again become weak. You talk about human beings, animals, plants, sub mein jo hai, isi tarike se jo hai wo, um, growth process hota hai. So my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading question. So my dear students, listen to the question and then answer do how, how plants grow up. They grow from a seed into a tiny plant and then they start growing. Then what type of movements plants show? They move when they are touched, they move uh, with the direction of the sun. So this is how plants show movement. Okay, my dear students, now let's quickly again revise the characteristics of um, animals and plants. So that is movement, growth, respiration, eat and feed, reproduction, sense and respond and excretion. Today we will discuss about movement and growth. So my dear students, now I request you all to please open your science four books, page number six, that is movement. I hope everybody has opened the page. So let's start the reading. Put your fingers where I will read. Movement. Animals move to find food, shelter, water and escape from predators. Movement, however, in animals is different from that of plants. Animals can freely move from one place to another. They show different modes of action. Fish swim, frogs hop, some jump, some run, some walk. So these are the different movements in plants. Plants remain fixed at one position. However, their parts such as roots, stem, leaves move in response to light and water. So my dear students, you can see that both are the movement, but their movement to express their way is different. Animals, jo hai, they are free to move from one place to another. They can go from here to there. So, unka movement ka jo mode hai, wo free hai. Some animals swim, some animals hop, some animals jump, some animals run, some animals walk. So, ye unke different modes of movement hai. But plants, they remain fixed. Wo ek jaga fixed rehte hai, but still they show movement. How they show movement? Towards water and towards the sunlight, unki movement is tarikhe se hoti hai. Unke jo different body parts hai, wo movement show karte hai towards the sunlight or towards the water. Yani ke aap dekhe jo roots hai, they grow towards the water. So that means, um, unke andar bhi movement ho rahi hai. The uh, flower of the sunflower moves with the uh, movement of the sun. 
सो दैट मीन्स योर मूवमेंट ऑफ द लाइट सो दैट वी कैन से के मूवमेंट हो रही है प्लांट्स में तो एक्सप्रेस करने का मूवमेंट का जो तरीका है वो दोनों में डिफरेंट है बट बोथ मूव बोथ आर लिविंग थिंग्स ओके माई डियर स्टूडेंट सो नाउ नेक्स्ट करेक्टरिस्टिक इज ग्रोथ नाउ लेट स्टडी अबाउट इट ग्रोथ एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स बोथ शो ग्रोथ बेबी एनिमल्स ग्रो टू बिकम एडल्ट एनिमल्स सिमिलरली बेबी प्लांट्स ग्रो इन टू ट्रीज एंड लार्जर प्लांट्स सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दोनों में ही ग्रोथ होती है बेबी एनिमल्स जो होते हैं दे ग्रो इन टू एडल्ट सिमिलरली बेबी प्लांट्स जो होते हैं दे ग्रो फ्रॉम सीड्स बिकम सीडलिंग यानी कि एक छोटा टाइनी प्लांट होता है एंड देन दे ग्रो इन टू एडल्ट प्लांट और एन और अ ट्री सो दोनों के अंदर ही मोड ऑफ मूवमेंट होती है लेकिन उसको शो करने का तरीका डिफरेंट है प्लांट्स uh, के अंदर जो है वो स्टेम और रूट्स और लीव्स uh, जो है वो ग्रो करते हैं वेयर एज इन एनिमल्स उनके जो डिफरेंट बॉडी ऑर्गन और पार्ट्स हैं वो ग्रो करते हैं सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट ओनली टू करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स नाउ मूवमेंट वाई एनिमल्स मूव टू फाइंड फूड शेल्टर एंड वाटर एंड एस्केप फ्रॉम प्रेडेटर्स एंड दिस इज हाउ दे स्विम दे जम्प दे रन दे हॉप even you see the snake it crawls or creeps so these are the different types of movements in plants see the frog is hopping so these are different modes of movement in animals so plants also move so plants move their parts leaves stem and roots so here you can see when you touch it it will close its leaves so this is how it moves okay iska jo ek body part hai wo move kar raha hai so we can say that plants also move again they move they uh, often their body part move towards the sunlight so that's how they show movement and next is growth both have both show growth so baby animals um, into adult animals and similarly the baby plants grow into trees and plants so this is how they both show growth both are living things aur aaj humne inke yahi do characteristics jo hai unke bare mein स्टडी करना है सो है यू कैन सी किटन ग्रोज इन टू एन अडल्ट कैट एंड इन द नेक्स्ट पिक्चर यू कैन सी द सीड्स ग्रो इन टू सीडलिंग एंड देन इन टू एन एडल्ट प्लांट सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टूवर्ड्स द वैल्यूएशन लेसन टू द क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली एंड देन आंसर दैम सो वट पार्ट ऑफ प्लांट्स मूव स्टेम लीव रूट्स दे शो मूवमेंट नेक्स्ट इज वाई एनिमल्स मूव animals move to find food shelter um, and to move away from predators how animals and plants show growth both grow from tiny or baby animals and plants into adult plants and animals respectively so my dear students this is it now let's move forward towards the practice so for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher write down your name and your roll number and then let's start and list all the characteristics of animals and plants so again write down the names of the characteristics of plants and animals how plants show movement write it down uh, they show show movement with the help of their different body parts like they move towards the sunlight or towards the water why animals move animals move to find food water and shelter and to move away from danger how plants show growth plants grow from a tiny plant to an adult plant or a tree how animals show growth animals also grow from a baby animal into an adult animal identify and write each characteristic so my dear students here you can see this is growth and this is also growth this is movement and this is also movement this is growth last one is growth so pause the video and complete the worksheet I hope everybody has done it submitted to your teacher and we will move forward towards your homework quickly note it down so for homework you will do question number 1 movement only from section C page number 24 so compare plants and animals in terms of today you will only do movement okay so this is your homework next you will we will move forward towards the wrap up of today's lecture so my dear students today we have learned that animals move from one place to another for shelter food and water plants move their paths like stem roots leaves for water and sunlight animals show growth from baby animals to adult animals 
and baby plants grow into adult plants or trees. So my dear students, today we have studied about two major characteristics of plants and animals, movement and growth. And you see that how they express their movement and, and growth in different ways. I hope you have liked the lecture and you have enjoyed it. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.